This is a very common question and well worth getting to grips with. So what we're looking at is Maclaurin series expansions and partial fractions. So the question normally goes along the lines of it has some sort of expression like this. And it either asks us, as in this case, to uh, work out what the general term, or it asks us for the first x terms, or it asks us for what... Uh, range of x it is valid and we're going to answer all of those questions so anyway basically whenever you see anything like this a partial fraction we know that we are going to be dealing with 1 over 1 minus x which equals 1 add x add x squared add da, 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 add x to the n add ad infinitum uh, which equals the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of x to the n. We know we're going to be dealing with that or a variety of that. Now basically I like this one and just to uh, go off on a side track uh, just for a second the reason I like this is there's three completely different ways of proving this. The first one is the geometric series where the first term is 1 and then we just have a ratio of x and that gives us da, 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 add x to the n and the sum of an infinite ge geometric series is equal to the first term over 1 minus the common ratio which gives us our proof there that's the first way the second way we can do it is using the binomial expansion so we put 1 minus x to the minus 1 oh yeah and just uh, on this one here uh, that is valid for mod x less than 1 um, basically because if x was bigger than 1 then each of these terms here would get bigger and bigger and it wouldn't converge so the binomial expansion that's the second way we can do it so basically expansion of that equals 1 add nx minus 1 times minus x add n n minus 1 x squared over 2 factorial add n n minus 1 n minus 2 x cubed over 3 factorial add da 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 and that basically comes all of the negatives cancel themselves out and that becomes 1 add x add x squared add x cubed add da, da, da. and the third way that we can do it is using the Maclaurin series expansion where basically f of x which equals 1 over 1 minus x which equals 1 minus x to the minus 1 equals f of 0 add f dashed of 0 x add f dash dashed of 0 x squared over 2 factorial add Da, 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 and we'll just do the first couple of terms of this. This isn't really answering the question, it's just a bit of a sideline, but it, it is quite interesting how we can do it in these three different ways. So basically, let's have a look. Well, f of 0, just sticking 0 into there, is clearly equal to 1. Uh, and then let's have a look at uh, f dashed of x, that equals minus 1, 1 minus x to the minus 2 times the derivative inside the bracket, minus 1, which equals 1 minus x to the minus 2 and so f dashed of 0 is equal to 1 and then f dash dashed of x is equal to minus 2 1 minus x to the minus 3 times minus 1 so f dash dashed of 0 is 2 factorial and then when we stick that in and that in and that in the factorials all cancel each other out and again it gives us 1 add x add x squared add, da, 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 add x to the n ad infinitum. So either way, no matter how we do it, we have that uh, 1 over 1 minus x is equal to the sum between uh, n equals 0 and infinity of x to the n. And how we're going to use that in this question is basically that 1 over 1 minus x we can pretty much put any fraction into that form. So let's just for example take 6 over 3 plus x. Well, how can we get that into that form? Well, okay, well, let's just take the 6 out, and that gives us 6 over 1 add 3 add x. And now let's take the 3 out at the bottom, which is 6 over 3 over 1 over 1 add x to the 3. But we want it in the form 1 minus x, and so therefore uh, that equals 2 1 over 1 minus minus x over 3 and now we have it in the same form where the x has become minus x over 3 and then all we need to do is simply put in minus x over 3 where x was so the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of x to the n becomes in this case 2 from that's where the 2 comes from there the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of instead of x to the n we put minus x over 3 to the n 
which equals 2, the sum between infinity, n equals 0. This is a very common thing to do. Take the minus out, minus 1 to the n, x to the n, over 3 to the n, and that's exactly what we're going to do with this partial fraction. So anyway, let's go back to our problem here. The first thing that we're going to have to do, clearly, is split that into partial fractions. So we're going to have to put this a over 2x add 4, add b over 3x minus 2, and we're going to have to find out what a and b are. And then once we've done that, we're just going to use this little trick here to convert them both into Maclaurin series. And then we are just going to have to do a little bit of higgledy-piggledy pocus to uh, add the two infinite series to produce one series. So, okay, so let's just have a look at our problem again. So we've got 7x minus 10 over 2x add 1, uh, 2x add 4, sorry. 3x minus 2, and that equals a over 2x add 4, add b over 3x minus 2. Okay, and so let's, uh, that basically equals, just multiplying across, a, 3x minus 2, add b, 2x add 4, over 2x add 4, 3x minus 2. And then what we do is we compare the top of each line so that we have 7 equals 3a, this is comparing the coefficients of x and 2b, and we have that uh, mi uh, minus 10 equals minus 2a and 4b. That's just comparing the units of here and here. Let's call that equation 1 and call that equation 2. And now whatever your favourite method of solving simultaneous equations is, uh, let's do 2 times 1 take away 2. That gives us that 8a equals 24, i.e. a equals 3, and therefore we can stick it in for b. b equals minus 1, and therefore we have, we can just about fit it on, that 7x minus 10 over 2x add 4, 3x minus 2, equals 3 over 2x add 4 minus 1 over 3x minus 2. Now all we need to do is we need to put these in the correct form. And so therefore that equals, okay, so let's take out the 3 from here. And let's take out the 4. So that's 3 over 4, 1 over 1 add x over 2 minus minus a half 1 over 1 minus 3x over 2, which is now in the correct form. So minus and minus becomes a plus there. And this we will have to rewrite as minus minus x over 2. So now what we can do is we can use this here, exactly the same method that we used here, basically just manipulating the sum between infinity and n equals 0 of x to the n. So we manipulate that, and this one here becomes 3 quarters the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of minus x over 2 to the n. And then this one here becomes add half the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of 3x over 2 to the n. And now what we need to do is we need to merge these two series and to do that what we need to do is bring the three quarters in so that equals the sum between n equals zero and infinity let's do that minus there minus one to the n times bring the three in three times x to the n over two squared four is two squared so that's two squared times two to the n add the sum between infinity and n equals zero of three to the n x to the n over 2 times 2 to the n. That's that 2 bringing the 2 in. And we're almost there now. All we need to do is just be a little bit careful. That equals the sum between infinity uh, n equals 0 and infinity of minus 1 to the n, 3 x to the n over 2 to the n plus 2, add 3 to the n x to the n over 2 to the n plus 1, and basically now we're almost there. All we need to do now is go, that equals the sum between n equals 0 and infinity of 3 times minus 1 to the n, add, basically we have to multiply top and bottom here by 2, which would give that 2 to the n plus 2, so they would be add 2 times 3 to the n, 
and all of that is multiplied by x to the n over 2 to the n plus 2 and that is hopefully what we are required to prove. Yep, 3 times minus 1 to the n and 2 times 3 to the n over times x to the n over 2 to the n plus 2. So we have the answer as desired. Okay, now just um, in case uh, there were different questions, they could ask where, what is the validity. Um, we have to go slightly back up to here. Basically, this bit here, the modulus must be less than 1. So we know that the modulus of x over 2 must be less than 1. And this is really important because we're using both of them. The modulus of 3x over 2 must be less than 1, i.e. from this bit, x must be less than 2 mod x. And this bit, x mod x must be less than 2 thirds. And as both of them must be true, therefore mod x must be less than 2 thirds. So therefore it converges for the modulus of x less than 2 thirds. The other thing that they might ask is what are the first x terms and all we need to do is just plug n equals 0, 1, 2, 3, whatever. So let's imagine that they were asking for the first four terms of this expansion. Well, we put x n equals 0, 1, 2 and 3 in, so let's just get a bit more space here. That would be equal to the first four terms would be 3 times minus 1 to the 0. What I'm doing is I'm putting n equals 0 in here. Add 2 times 3 to the 0, x to the 0 over 2 to the 0 add 2. So that's the first term. Add the second term would be 3 times minus 1 to the 1. Add 2 times 3 to the 1 times x to the 1 over 2 to the 1 add 2. Add, that would be the second term. The third term would be 3 times minus 1 squared. Add 2 times 3 squared times x squared over 2 to the power of 2 plus 2, and then the fourth term will be 3 times minus 1 cubed times 2 times 3 cubed x cubed over 2 to the 3 plus 2, and all of that lot, that, that's the first four terms, that becomes, this simplifies out to 5 over 4, the second one here is uh, 3x over 8, the third one here is 21x squared over 16, and the fourth one here is 51x cubed over 32, and then the other terms there. So basically, the three types of questions that you might ask, and they, they may ask a combination of them. One is, what are the first uh, x terms, the cell n terms? The second one is, for what values of x does it converge? And the third one is, what is the general term um, and on these partial fraction ones basically just have this cemented into your brain this expansion here because that one is the one that you use all the time or a variant of it okay well i hope you found this useful i uh, hope you get this on your exam if you do um hope you do well on it and if you've enjoyed this please like it and subscribe to the Gresty academy youtube channel thank you